The XRPL has never been down, not in its entire existence. Okay. So there's a difference there. Just want to make that delineation between paused and down. Sometimes if there are, there'd be a lot of reasons, you know, just congestion on the network could be overwhelmed. There could be, you know, too many transactions trying to be put through the TPS. It can scale up to 1500 transactions per second. That is what can go across the main net on the XRPL. There are other blockchains that scale to higher you know, throughput for TPF. The way that the XRPL scales to infinite transactions is through payment channels and an implicit or explicit subnet that Ripple or another party will launch. Many people talked about Cobalt. Apparently that's dead, according to Matt Hamilton in my discussion with him. But he mentioned, you know, I said, well, if that's the case, you know, and that is no longer being worked on, how would you scale the XRPL to, you know, hundreds of thousands of transactions or TPS transactions per second. And he said, you know, you would need an implicit or explicit subnet on the XRPL to be able to scale it to that level. So I'm confident that that's been built. Ripples probably has that in their back pocket, potentially has been trialing it with the private ledgers and the private instances of XRPL that they use with institutions.